guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 8 of season 2 of Isekai Quartet. So go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Really? Bye, best girl. There she goes! So precious. Uh, <laughs> Just remember, she took that shot for Tanya. <laughs> the most precious thing ever, baby. Uh. Excuse me. Trying not to choke on water, and Lee and I choked on water. Challenge part turned out. Okay. Well, maybe that's because she has a job. But are you really lonely? Oh, wow. God damn it! <laughs> Every time! <sighs> but this wasn't supposed to be a threesome, it was supposed to be a twosome! Okay. The, the, just everybody. Okay, Mega Man. Goddamn. <laughs> What's wrong? But then why would she want to get a part-time job? Maybe she's trying to save up for something. I mean, you know, 
I'm not surprised that she's the one that gets a job. I would think, like, maybe not, because I'll bet it would probably be one of those that are like, eh. <laughs> So then she has multiple jobs. Okay, just multiple jobs. I mean, how in the world can you go ahead and do multiple jobs like that? I mean, girl. Best girl I guess. Damn. Were you buying a dress for Tanya? <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> But she's hungry. That too. What if the special menu is like something really not special? <laughs> well, damn. My child, did you eat it all? Like, damn! No! <laughs> oh my god, allergies. Whatever it is, it's got to be really good. And it has to be worth it. I mean, that's a lot of fucking money. He works everywhere. I know! It's so precious! <laughs> you eat them? It's so precious, baby! It's so precious! Precious baby! Give her everything!
you guys. Thank you for doing an episode on my best girl. Thank you, freaking Sarami, your voice acting, for voicing this character because, oh my god, she's so fucking precious and I love her to death. Like, oh my god. I was not imagining <laughs> for this episode to go this way. I was thinking we were going to get like something completely out of the ordinary and not like this with her getting a job and everything just to get food and for a special menu item. But I get that because you're always curious about what the hell it could be. It's like how um, when makeup companies or uh, clothing stores or whatever, they do the lucky bags, whether it's at the end of the year for Japan or um, for makeup companies, they do it during Valentine's Day, maybe sometimes St. Patrick's Day, usually during the big, big holidays, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's, maybe Easter, uh, Halloween, Christmas, maybe 4th of July. And you want to get that one that's co that costs the most, a big bag that's like maybe 100 to 200 to maybe $300. So you work your ass off and you're just like, yep, take my fucking money. That's what my baby is. Like, Victoria is so precious. Oh my god. She's so adorbs and I love her so fucking much. I just, ugh. X? No, that's, oh, Spider. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The thing from <laughs> that came in season one. It makes sense that they'll have to come back in season two. But, oh my god. Mm. That just, you know, when you get the money that you need and you're finally able to get the thing that you've been wanting for, like, the longest time, that feeling that you get, like, oh my god, I didn't need to ask, you know, my parents for money, my other family for money, um, I've never done this, like, my friends for money, because I've met people who I'm friends with who have asked me for money, and I'm like, um... I'm a little skeptical on that because the thing the thing is, especially when you give someone, it, it's like this, like, when my parents would sometimes ask me um, to borrow maybe, like, 20 bucks, I'm the type of person where I'm like, okay, you give me 20 bucks, I give you 20 bucks, and that means once you get your money back, ASAP, I want my money back. I'm that type of person where I will come up to you every single freaking day of the goddamn week and ask you, where's my money, yada, yada, yada. I don't play when it comes to my money. That's the <laughs> that's the thing with me. And I've had friends in the past who have maybe asked, like, if I could borrow stuff. And I'm always a little skeptical because there was one time, I think I was in uh, elementary school, and I, I they were just asking for, like, $5. And I said, okay, I got $5 on me. That's fine. Um, and stuff. So I give them the $5, and it took them weeks to give me my money back to the point where I had to tell my parents and their parents had to be my parents just to talk it out and to give me my money back. And so that's why I'm typically a little skeptical of giving money to my friends. Some of my family members is kind of the same thing because my, um, one of my family members took forever to give me my 20 bucks back, but I wasn't really as hard on them as I was with my parents because I'm like, Hey, money right there. There you go. Put it in my hand. But yeah, I just, you know, you got to be really skeptical towards people because you just don't know what other people are going to think about money. But I, I get the fact is like, Victoria wanted to get it all on her own. I was thinking she was doing it just to get a dress for Tanya because, I mean, remember in the show, she gave her a dress and I was like, she dressed her up as a cute fucking doll. And that was like the cutest, precious thing in the damn series overall. And that was what everybody put in my video. Like, oh my god, you just look so freaking cute fangirling over a girl in a doll and like in an outfit dressed as a damn doll. And I'm like, yes, I know, but she's just so adorable. Ugh. I'm just happy she got, <laughs> oh my god, she got screen time because, I mean, Victoria is one of my personal favorite characters of Saga of Tiny Evil, of for several reasons, not because of the, her voice actress, but. Just her character and the things that she goes through, even though there's, like, she's in it for not the whole entire show. She's only in it for maybe, I want to say, about seven episodes. And then once Tanya leaves and they eventually meet up again, I was just like, oh my god, like, guys, yeah, like, thank you. But it's just, ugh. I'm happy. Just so fucking happy, baby. And, oh my god, the food. It looked so good. I mean, I had cookies. I had, like, a couple of cookies before I started recording and just... 
I'm so hungry. And I either might go eat spaghetti or I don't know. I want a burger. I kind of want a sub sandwich, but I I'm just hungry. You know how you just like you're hungry and you want everything? That's me. I'm just, I want food. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 8 of season 2 of Isekai Quartet. If you guys enjoyed it, the leave, give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys, especially all next Tuesday for episode 9. Bye, guys!